Tana. Welcome back to my channel and another video for the Rabbit Hole Designs. Today we're going to work with some of the previously released Christmas stamps. And I already have some images colored up here. The penguins, the gingerbread house, the snow globe, four of the trees, and some candy canes. And then I stamped out some holly off of the cupcake and a bow. For the trees themselves. Now I know these stencils are retired from the rabbit hole designs. You guys can use anything you want. That triangle one there came from the scooped two stencil set and I just flipped it upside down to form triangle trees. And then I have some scrap pieces of Bristol here. So for the first uh, panel, sorry, we're going to use some saltwater taffy and lumberjack plaid distress ink. And I'm making stripes across the candy twist stencil. And I'm just going to go, there. you know, I didn't measure it out. It was just about the size of my uh, blending brush there. And I'm going to continue that all the way down the panel. And then, of course, we'll go back and we'll blend those edges together with just what's left on the brushes themselves. I don't add any extra ink to that. So I'm sitting here recording and then my alarm goes off. Don't you just hate it when your recording gets interrupted? Yes. Now I'm just dotting off some of the extra ink that seeped underneath the stencil itself. And then for this triangle scooped stencil I went in with two colors from Concord and Ninth, parsley first, all across the panel. Sorry if you can hear some coughing in the background. I'm having a hard time with my phone and YouTube getting to work, so I decided to record this voiceover during the day. Then I moved the stencil up into the side a little, and we're going to get another layer of trees just by moving that stencil up and then I pulled out the other one, Juniper, the other color, and went ahead and stenciled those. Yes, there's a cold going around their house, back and forth, back and forth. The kids missed school last week and it's that time of year. In fact, you may hear my voice go in and out because I think it's my turn next. Now that we've got that done, we have a third panel we're going to work on, but I did not do that one on the camera, so I'm just going to show that one to you. And that's where I used the Slice of Christmas stencil. And for that I used Catherine Pooler inks, just different colors of green. Now I'm going to trim these down to the size that I think they should be for each card. There's going to be one portrait card and two landscape cards. So top folding and side folding, or t actually they're all top folding because I turned the other two on their sides. Okay, so now we have these measured out. I was going to put the sizes of the panels. Oh, here we go. This is a moment where I'm squeezing and squeezing and missed my glue press. Now I have it, it's on the desk. But I thought with such a large panel and such a precision to put on the glue press, it might go faster if I used a regular container of glue. Yeah, my hand did not thank me for that. Okay, so I was going to put the measurements of my panels up on the screen, but I figured I eyeballed it just by what I liked, by holding it up to the card bases before I cut, and I figured you might want to do the same. Of course, I can measure them and put that stuff in the comment below if anybody's interested in the sizes of the panels. So just comment below and I will do that for you if you want. Now we have, so I thought it would look too plain and I wanted to edge it off with some nice borders. So I did a light green mirrored cardstock for the tree card base. And I use a craft card base for that one. And then for the peppermint candy twist one, I used a, like a matte gold. And they're all a quarter inch wide. And then for the tree, the big tree 
background I used glittered cardstock by Concord and Ninth. Came in their rainbow pack, I believe. So after those all dry, the ones that need to be trimmed to size, I do that. And then we're gonna move on to adding our images. Sorry for the coughing again, if you can hear that. Okay, so, oops. Okay, you guys, oops. And I didn't even realize it at this time. So here I am adhering my penguins. Now, I didn't show you in this video, but I did plan out which images I wanted on what card front. And I will tell you, the penguins were not supposed to go on this one. <laughs> okay? So... Instead of going on the little tree background, I put the penguins on the big tree background totally by accident. And now we have to configure the other card a different way. It's no big deal. I did originally look at it and try to see if I could peel them off without damaging the card. Me pointing to the cards, that's when I realized what I did. In the end, I had to go with three trees instead of four. And that's okay. I do like the way the trees look on the craft card stock, though. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise. After I adhere those to the card base, I'm going to add their little, the little decorative items to the pots. A red bow for the center tree, and then two little holly sprigs for the red, the red trees, the red potted trees. I'm sorry. And if you like my nails, I love my nails. Candy corn, they're supposed to look like candy corn. And those are by uh, Nail Strips by Color Street. And then we have the gingerbread house and little candy cane decorations. And now we're going to stamp our sentiments. This first one is the penguins. And their panel was the widest because they went on the wrong card front. So I had to put the whole sentiment on the inside, and it says, It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I stamped all the uh, sentiments with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And I think it looks cute, though. Maybe it was a blessing in disguise, putting them on the wrong card front. Now we're going to use the warm and cozy wishes from the stamp set with the snowmen. Like I said, I'll put all the names of the stamp sets in the description box below as I am having a blank spot here in my memory. And then for the third one, we're going to put Have a Merry on the front or Have a and then Merry Christmas on the inside. So if you're looking for Christmas, Christmas inspiration or a holiday inspiration this month, next month, make sure you pay attention to the Rabbit Hole Designs Facebook fan page and Instagram page and the YouTube channel because we will all be doing lots of Christmas inspiration for you guys to enjoy. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you like what you saw here today. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you did. Hit that bell for notifications when new videos come out. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.